what's up guys it's your boy phone tech over here with another video in this one guys i'm going to be comparing an ios 12 iphone 6s to an ios 10.3.2 iphone 6s guys so as always stay tuned all right guys so we're gonna go up both devices here so apple logo appeared first on ios 10.3.2 that's the 12 here So let's see which one will build up faster. I mean, with all other phones I compared, iOS 10 was faster booting up. Though in general, iOS 12, okay, iOS 12 and 10 were about the same speed and RAM was better on iOS 12, so let's see. Wow, it's taking too long with iOS 12 here on iPhone success. There is some difference. And now guys, just jumping right into the phones. It was faster on iOS 12. So guys, just gonna show you the version here. So uh, as you can see guys, this is an iOS 12. Beta 1, beta, and this is an iOS 7.3.2. Official build here, just let's jump into the test immediately. So guys, as you can see, both phones have nothing in the background. Let's just start here with calendar. And I was slightly faster on iOS 12, good stuff. Photos, slightly faster on iOS 12. Camera, identical, good stuff. Maps. And I think that was faster on iOS 12. Clock, about the same. Not the same exactly. Weather was better on iOS 12. Loading news. The animation is slower on iOS 10, though th that's something that has to do with animation itself, not the phone speed. So, leaving, going for notes. I think that was faster on iOS 10. Going for reminders. About the same, guys. Maybe animation was faster on iOS 10. iTunes Store. And loading. Loading was faster on iOS 12, uh, 10 guys, sorry, App Store. Definitely faster on iOS 10. Going out is about the same speed, guys. Phone dialer, that was faster on iOS 12. Safari, both on the Apple.com, so uh, I think that was about the same, guys. Just can click on something here, let's go for Mac. And that was, I think, millisecond faster on iOS 10, loading. So leaving, now guys, let's just open settings here, so settings, identical, and now guys, just heating it up, going for third-party apps here. First up guys, Geekbench 4, and I was faster on iOS 12, good stuff, and to the benchmark, faster on iOS 10, going for Google Earth, and yeah, that was a second or so, faster on iOS 10, Temper Run 2. But definitely I noticed that iOS 12 is faster than iOS 11, guys, and that's the very first beta. Okay, that was slower on iOS 12, definitely. Leaving. And now, guys, going for YouTube. Seems faster than iOS 12. It is faster than iOS 12. Good stuff there. Going for Instagram. That was definitely faster than iOS 10, though I have to say both phones were blazing fast. Jetpack Joyride. Yeah, it seems faster than iOS 10. And identical guys, about the same, exactly the same. So iOS 12 is really catch up to the very end. Mario Run. So overall, iOS 12 is not bad. I always say it's the very first beta, so we should take that into consideration. And yeah, iOS 12 is taking some time, and definitely iOS 10 wins. Subway Surfers. Yeah, definitely iOS 10 wins here. Okay. Loading bar took some time to appear on iOS 12. Leaving. I'm just gonna launch here a CPU. I mean, this app is pretty basic. Just wanna fill up the RAM as much as possible for the RAM management here. So guys, here comes the RAM management test. So calendar, photos, camera, maps, clock, weather, I think it has to refresh on iOS 12, but that was super fast, guys, so I dropped it. I hope not. News, notes, reminders, iTunes Store, App Store. Both phones are solid. Phone dialer, Safari, settings, Geekbench 4, and to the benchmark, which will refresh. Yeah, definitely. Google Earth. Temperant 2. 
YouTube, Instagram, Jetpack Joyride, Mario Run, Subway Surfers, and nothing's being refreshed, guys. Finally, guys, AX CPU. So, guys, both phones didn't refresh any app except for I'm not sure about weather on this phone. So, maybe weather app was refreshed on iOS 12. But it was super fast. So, I really thought that it like, actually refreshed and, uh, and to the benchmark refresh on both devices. But I won't count it because it's always refreshing on all phones. Now, guys, for a Geekbench 4 test. You can see here to iOS 12, iOS 10.3.2. And just gonna run benchmarks. And, guys, both phones are done here. Uh, as I always notice, thankfully, guys, with iOS 12, all phones are outperforming iOS 10 when it comes to single core, multi core scores. So, guys, just gonna show you a previous test here. So, as you can see, that's a score from a previous test on iOS 11.4. This phone actually scored lower, so lower, even lower than iOS 10, on a single core at least. Multi core was higher than iOS 11.4, but now both are higher than iOS 12. So, definitely, guys, I'm moving in the right direction, as I always say. So, good stuff there from Apple. And now, guys, so guys, just, uh, I just want to mention that this phone is, has a 5% wear level, so maximum capacity is 95%. This is a 99%. So this phone should lose less battery. So as you can see, this is 92% now, this is a 94%. So the difference is really small, taking in consideration that 4% extra wear level here. So I think that iOS 10 and 12 are identical when it comes to battery life. And guys, one more thing here, notes. Just want to uh, show the keyboard show up speed. So, okay, that was faster than iOS 12. Let's just... Start typing. So yeah, both keyboards feel super smooth. Good stuff there, no stutter, no lag, nothing, animations, so it's good. And it was actually faster showing up on iOS 12. And now guys, for a final test here, and to the benchmark. You now the just previous test again here. So guys, both phones are done here and terrible scores. Just guys, you know, both phones are overheated from the test. Though I kept them to rest for like five minutes, but at the end guys, they're both in the same condition. So it's okay, we're just comparing iOS 12 to 10, 12 to 10, sorry. And GPU is better on iOS 12, good stuff. GPU was better on iOS 10, UX 10, and RAM is about the same. Let's see guys, ROM about the same. RAM was better on iOS 10 for some reason. Just show you the UX, user experience score is higher on iOS 10. That was about the same. As you can see, data security is exactly the same, guys. There's only one point difference. Data processing is be score is better than iOS 10, definitely. And image processing is that better than iOS 12, but it's about the same. GPU, as you can see, guys, here are GPU scores. Definitely better than iOS 10 and CPU here. So CPU is better than iOS 12. That's good stuff there, guys. So it makes sense. Even Geekbench, this phone did score better than the CPU scores. So as you're saying at the very end, so this phone lost 19% of the test and this lost 14% um, uh, guys. So though this phone has 1% wear level, this has 5%. So as I said, the battery life is about the same. So iOS 10 and 12 are comparable when it comes to battery life. That's really good. iOS 11 was way worse, for example. And that's something Apple did improve now with iOS 12 finally. All right, guys, there you have it. That was a comparison between these two beasts, the successes here. I want to say guys, that. With newer devices like 6S, SE, 7, I'm not really noticing any different improvements over iOS 10. Though I have to say it's better than iOS 11, that's for sure. But RAM management, RAM management is about the same. Um, performance about the same. Battery life is about the same. So guys, they actually went back to the iOS 10's battery life almost. That's really good stuff there. I mean, iOS 12 did lose 5% extra battery over iOS 10, but it has 4% extra wear level. So let's say at the end, this phone would lose like 2% more. So iOS 10 still has better battery, but they're about the same, guys. That's amazing. Uh, overall, guys, until the benchmark scores were higher on iOS 10, Geekbench was higher on iOS 12, because CPU is always scoring better on iOS 12. That's something I noticed. Um, so overall, guys, it's great. It's the very first beta, so that's something as well. So we're get, um, only getting more improvements and so on. So Apple still has three months until official release, guys. So I think by then, they're gonna just master this iOS 12. It looks good from the very beginning. I mean, iOS 11, beta one was terrible. I do remember that. And yeah, this is way better, guys. So if you guys like the video, subscribe for more content. Peace out.